I'm Cindy Rampley and I'm the broker at Tri-City Realty. I help investors buy and sell and exchange real estate and our company handles the property management as well. We specialize in single family homes and understand the many benefits of investing, which includes the tax deductions that are allowed. The property taxes and maintenance and insurance and fees associated with the property are all deductible. The other big deduction is called cost recovery and it's also known as depreciation. The value of the house minus the value of the land is depreciable. IRS uses a calculation that equates to allowing 27 and a half years to write off residential real estate. So a typical rental house can deduct four or $5,000 from taxable income every year for depreciation. After all the deductions, the taxable income on the rental house goes way down. So the passive income from your real estate has a lower effective tax rate. What many investors don't expect is that when the property is sold, the depreciation that's been deducted for several years can be recaptured and then you have to pay taxes at a 25% rate. That is, if you've held a property for 10 years and deducted $4,000 every year, you have a $40,000 taxable event. And at a 25% tax rate, you'll be liable for $10,000 in taxes on the recovery of the tax depreciation. In addition to this, the capital gains rate is generally 15 to 20% of the gain on your basis or increase in value. But there's a provision in the IRS tax code, section 1031, that allows for you to exchange the property and defer the taxes. You can exchange for another like kind property, which means real estate. It can be a single family home or a duplex or any real estate that provides income. It can't be for your personal residence or a second home. You have to identify the property and buy it with the proceeds of the home you're selling or exchanging. You have to hire a qualified intermediary to handle the money and the transaction, but that's not very expensive. I've done several of these through the years and I know who to recommend to handle the exchange for you. I'm not a tax professional. I always advise investors to contact their own personal tax advisor to find out what your liabilities are. But these are some of the questions that you need to ask before you buy or sell investment real estate. So give me a call when you're ready.